Good morning and welcome to Tel Aviv. I got in last Friday, like around 2 p.m. ahead of Shabbat. Today's Tuesday, so we've already had the weekend here, but I'm ready, I'm ready to vlog. I didn't want to come in so strong, especially like I haven't seen Alex in so long. I'm coming to her country, like bumming at her place for a week. I didn't want to like stick a camera in her face upon arrival, but <laughs> I actually, I was editing my vlog to go up yesterday and then I watched it with my friends, which is always awkward, but always really sweet that they want to watch them. And they're like, Caroline, like where, why? Where's your camera? She lives steps from the beach. It's stupid. We've literally we've gone to the beach every single day since we've been here But today Alex is actually working. So me and Allison have the day We're gonna go to Yafo, which is their port area So we're gonna be walking like kind of 30 minutes up from where Alex lives and there's a flea market so many beautiful shops I'll take you guys with me. Also my friends Danielle and Michael are here who live in LA Why is it easier for us all to get together? in Tel Aviv than it is in like LA or New York. But I actually stepped in a little bit today and Allison just snuck out, is getting us a coffee. I'm gonna meet her and then we're gonna go to Yafo. Okay, we just got our coffees and we're walking to Yafo. The walk, like just cash. I feel like the bride. <laughs> it's close, it's close. I wish it was just like a little bit more fitted up top. Again, the bride. Michael's here. by two separate people to buy them perfume while we're here. Oh, it literally, it smells like Lolavo. A little topsy. I would, I would, if Michael wasn't here, I would go full net. He might send it. I won't tell Jimmy. <laughs> you see the vision. I do this every time I travel. Like, I get so caught up in the aesthetic of the destination. Like, when I'm here, this is how I want to dress. Versus in New York, I'm like in all black. Really, just me and Allison have this entire shoe store 50% off to ourselves. Look at all the boxes. All handmade leather, stunning. I've really been wanting, like, ever since I've been here, everything red. I've just been really called to, but I think I want to find a pair of like red leather sandals. There's something that looks like almost like unflattering about the shape. I can't look at my toes. I think I'm gonna do these guys. I love the wood detail. Uh, little buckle. Ah, I think it's my hair. It's probably really. No, just a so thin string. Yeah, you see this a little bit? It's crazy. And it could be a skirt too, but I'm also two feet tall, so I think we need a level set. <laughs> we get so, me and Allison, we get so carried away here, but. I'm like, I don't love this kind of cut on me, but on Allison. Then it's evening. Oh, dang. Just our on. And they're separate, like when you wear them together, it looks so evening. It looks like a dress. Mm -hmm. and oh, it's on her heels? Right yeah. Look at her. Where are you? That looks beautiful. It looks so gorgeous, Al. Look at that color. Look at that color. I mean, it is so beautiful. Tell them how much it was. So it was about 
1800 US dollars <laughs> altogether. <laughs> Which honestly is to be expected. That it's was so, thing. like the quality was insane. It was definitely like designer, designer. But when she showed us the other dress, it was closer to, I wanna say two, two or 300 US dollars. Honestly, I feel so bad. Well, I, so that's when, like, why, when we that's do shit like that. That's why I didn't want to try it on because I'm like, I don't want to look I know. Also, like, this store, like, was, like, literally so fucking chic. We go in. They have a kitchen. They're making lunch. This poor woman interrupts her lunch to, like, address us for 30 minutes. We didn't buy anything. You can't just, like, impulse buy. No. And But the thing is, I feel like we have been. We, like, bond with the shop owners. And then you feel so guilty that you're like, I have to buy something from you. And, like, I'm buying things I don't even want. Yeah, but, like, a $60 top is, is very different than an $1,800 <laughs> set. <laughs> Sticky, me and Al, and we're all dressed in bridal, bridal whites. <laughs> we're all getting married. <laughs> no, we look like we're going down to the beach to take a group photo shoot with a golden retriever. Yes, and like khakis. Except we don't have a golden retriever. Are there, I feel <laughs> like they just Michael? don't exist in Israel. We do have Michael. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I haven't seen one of those. No. Recently. Oh my God! Look at that. And the fits. <laughs> the water was great. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you got your titties in that. All good. Hi, Todd. What up, fam? <laughs> This is insane. All right, we're heading out. We're going to lunch at Young Toe. <laughs> what is that, Kara? Oh, it's so nice. It's um the Crown Affair finishing gel. It's like, you know how people do like slick backs with the sticks and it feels really waxy? This is like, you can put this in and gel your hair and then you can brush it through later and it's like not crazy. Good. Yeah, but I also use it, you wanna try it? I also use it for like flyaways. Obviously decked, bought this shirt yesterday, bought these sunglasses a day ago. The shopping here, okay. I'm gonna give you the babies bit. You can see against like the white wall I have like these guys. I just do like a little glaze. It's um, not gonna be sticky. Mm -mm. And it just brings them down. I need to, you're so tall. All right, fun. And it does, it does what it needs to do. I think I'm so tan and then I send next to you out. <laughs> it's really humbling.
It's so loud out here. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of construction. But I'm just on Alex's porch. She actually had to work today. And then my friend Allison left last night. So I have the day to myself. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so nice, like just kinda, like to do things on my own time, be as slow as I want, listen to podcasts and just walk and I don't know, it's gonna be a good day. Being with Alex and Allison these past few days has just been like so grounding. I feel like that's like the only way I can describe it. Like being with your friends who've known you forever just really like brings you back to yourself and like reminds you who you are. Like they've been with me through so many seasons of life and it's funny, like we were looking back, like talking about like the college versions of ourself and like literally I look at photos of myself from college and I'm like, I do not know her. I do not claim her. Like I really don't identify with that version of myself. I feel like a lot of my motivations in college, I just wanted to be liked. Like everything I did was just like fueled by the want to be liked, not even like what, maybe like it's not even what I wanted to do, how I wanted to be dressing, like where I wanted to go out at night. And Alex and Allison are my friends from my sorority in college and we ended up watching the Alabama Rush documentary. It's so gnarly to think like that's how we met and like that's what brought us together, but like it is and like there's no, there's no use in being ashamed of it. But yeah, sorority culture kind of just like stunts individuality and like, if everyone's doing one thing like you should be doing that too kind of a mind fuck like really grateful for that season of my life and everything that it brought me but also looking back i don't know if i'm necessarily like proud of everything that it was and that's okay you don't have to be we don't have to be proud of everything from our past but something that i am really proud of is i finally finished i finally finished i'm glad my mom died by jeanette mccurdy if you have been following on this channel i've been reading this book on and off for like literally the past five months and I've loved it through and through. It's just kind of hard for me to stick with a routine with reading, but I did it. I finished it and I really, really enjoyed it. If you have trouble reading or you think reading isn't for you, I really, I really think this is the gateway drug into reading. The chapters are really quick. The sentences, it's like very conversation-like. It's just like, it's a very easy read. I don't know if this would be described as like an autobiography or a memoir, but it's Jeanette McCurdy, um, who was a child actor. She was on a Carly, you probably know her as Sam, but just like kind of like learning about her life, her relationship with acting. Honestly, it's fucked up shit has happened in her life and it made for a very interesting book. And it finished! But let the day begin, Caroline in Tel Aviv. My actually, my, I didn't charge my camera overnight, which is on me, so I'm gonna charge it for a little bit, um, probably while I go out and get coffee, and get ready for the day. This is gonna be so nice. We're going <laughs> Caroline and I bought those pants. You were, I think I was with you in yeah, Brooklyn when we tried those on. So my aunt wants them, I think. Like, they're really cute. So Alex, the thing about Alex is she has fucking butter, perfect skin. So. Ooh. Oh, those are adorable. Oh, I love these. They're from House of Sunny is the brand. Yeah. I love House of Sunny. So it's very your style. Very your style. Yeah. They look really good on you. Oh my god, Alex, save it for me. They, you can take them now. I mean, you okay, and tell me, them, and tell me like, how much. Like, it's so confused. Okay. What am I doing? So, with this? <laughs> no, no, so, no. I'm not putting me through. This is, you're putting it on my face. <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm going in with the. Uh, we're two different colors, no, baby girl. No, no, no. It's, it's a one size. It's, a one, it's just a glow. It's, there is no one size in my makeup. It's a glow. Okay, glow is different. It's nothing crazy, girl. Glow is little fine. Little glowy face. Okay. <laughs> scared me for a second. I just want to use on you. I'm wearing this blush today. It's really peachy and fun. It's the Say New Glow Sculpt. They just came out with this. It's like. It looks like it's powder, but it's cream. It's really oh. nice. It's great. And it like, Love. it kind of reminds me of the show so, wearing in a way. Yeah, yeah. yeah How long ago did you guys meet? Meet Alex? Yeah. Three years, no? Yeah. When we started, I started working in the shack mm -hmm. uh, as a bartender. And I was the only person there that didn't know you guys. You all knew each other. Yeah. You working at the shack, were you the only English speaker? Like, did ever was everyone speaks English, but like, I was the only, only, the only American. American. Yeah, Malik also. Ah, uh, so there was one other. We were there for a few months while I was there, but everyone else was Israeli. Yeah. And they were amazing. Yeah. They probably helped their Hebrew so much. It helped my Hebrew so much. Yeah. And like, got me to speak the language and like push me too. Yeah. Also, because they're great and they were like, like, we'll still speak Hebrew. I'm like, it's okay, like, speak it. Yeah. And if I want to jump in, I will. But like, if they see I'm a little lost, they'll switch right back to English. Like, yeah. Oh, really they're the best. All right, Very I just lucky. did some cheek on you. I'll probably do a little highlight on your nose, lip, and then you're, I'm ready to go. And then you're good to go. You don't need anything. It's so fucking annoying. But this is the Kosas Glow IV. Okay. This is, is like, 
a wicked highlighter. Like I don't use that much. I love the bridge of your nose. Is that weird to say? <laughs> it's like perfect. Ooh, a little little zing. Yeah, it zings. You right? And then I take whatever excess I have and I put it like on my eyelids. So it's fun. And then I actually have a really good glitter for you. Okay. You know I love my glitter. I know you love your glitter, bitch. I really do love my glitter. Alex in college had this. Like, do you still have this? Do you have it here? Oh, <laughs> my. Wait, <laughs> I actually thought it was a lot bigger. Was I, I, was I a lot tinier? <laughs> Look at this. Okay. It's almost, it's like an ancient perfume. Like, like, how would you describe hey, it? Hey, you know, like sparkling? Yeah. Yes, and you just pull this so little good. puff. I've had this for years. Oh. And it's not, the thing <laughs> it's is, it's not it. oily. It's just like straight out, like straight glitter. Um, and like, we'll have to do but it. But I have this eyeshadow that I think you'll love. Ooh. It's the Urban Decay Space Cowboy. This is like super fucking viral. Like everyone's obsessed with it. You literally, you take like a little thingy and okay. like, can you see? Oh wow. wow. And it like hits the putting? light. I put it on my eyes. It's so beautiful. You want to do it yourself? Nope. Okay. All right, bitch. <laughs> yeah, get in there. <laughs> my eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just on your eyelid and like up top. It's so beautiful. Wow. Oh. It's like nothing else. I want to be obsessed. It's oh so good. God. What's the brand of this? It's Urban Decay. Mm -hmm. OG. Mm -hmm. Oh, fucking G. That is so OG. Uh, right? Did yeah. you have a naked palette? Wow. Yeah, I have a naked palette. Like, it's probably somewhere in my home makeup drawer as well. Wow. Oh my god, so fun. It's so fun. It's like a, I know, just like a little hit. It's nice. And sometimes when I feel like crazy, I won't do this to you, but I love putting it as like a highlight on my cheek. Yeah. I think it's so fun. But I love that cheek, the say. I like that it feels dewy. So we're going out tonight and it's on a Thursday. And I've explained this before, but like, their work weeks are Sunday to Thursday. And then because of Shabbat, like Friday is just part of the weekend. And so it's such a weird, like, I like can't get used to it. You know? Friday is part of the yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, part of the weekend. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Totally a different. Yeah, whole different. Because also Sundays in America are so cherished. Yes. And I feel like it's such a culture for a Sunday. Whereas here, like Shabbat is the- Is the family, is the, the family the friends. Gathering. But Sundays are, really revered in America also because of sports. That's true. Like Sunday. every, like yes. Sundays sports. is like Everyone football, like, yes. no, no, not as, you watch sports. Watch sports. Oh. It's like the biggest deal. Yeah. It's no, it's big. honestly a little dumb. But it's dumb? Yeah, because yeah. Sunday's like meant to be family day, but like what's family day? Like sitting with your, sitting with your dad while he doesn't talk to you and just watches golf? Like actually. Like yeah. literally, right? We're gonna get dressed. Oh my god, it's the way that I can see it, like twinkling on your skin. It's so beautiful. So sparkly. Wow. And just like that, yes, they're ready for the night. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in your room. I'm so sunburnt. It's not even funny. Okay, so we're going to Bicicleta. Yes. This is a very cool restaurant and bar. My boyfriend is working there. <laughs> and so many generation of friends like comes from this place and it's the coolest place literally in Tel Aviv. <laughs> Tel Aviv. What an endorsement. <laughs> Is it food too or just drinks? Food. Oh, food. Yeah, okay. Really nice. I'm starving. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. Don't worry. Not even that I drank a lot. I was drinking all different kinds of alcohol. I had a gin drink, I had a vodka drink, and then when they, when they asked me what kind of shots I wanted, I said tequila. But when you're hungover in New York, you just have to suffer, but when you're hungover here, you can jump in the ocean. Alex lives literally like three minute walk from the beach. There's no excuse. Also, it's like my second to last day here. If I'm not wet in the ocean, so I'm just gonna do a quick and dirty little dip, and then I'm gonna get a coffee, and then me and Alex are gonna start the day. 
it might be like a surf lesson. I'm a new bitch. <laughs> Big day. Big day. Big day. Me and Alex are both. <laughs> but we're about to go onto a boat. Oh my god. We're, we just, we're so glam. We're but so I'm glam. glam. But we're going to a boat for our friend Emma's birthday. This is, this is the unhinged shit. Mm -hmm. Her birthday is in January. Yes. But, but she's like, I want to be a summer birthday. So she says to her husband, let's switch. And he's like, he's like, okay. So she's actually pregnant, which is funny because she wanted this like rager on a boat. And the second she got pregnant, her husband was like to her, you still doing the rager on the boat? She's like, yeah. So we're drinking for two. So we're drinking for two. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. It's Saturday. We're walking through the Shuk. It is so incredibly quiet. The whole the whole Shuk shuts down at like, is it 4 p.m. on a Friday? Something like 4-ish. I would say maybe 5. Yeah, like all the businesses start to, to shut down so people can just like go be with their family. It's like literally the peak of chaos, like stampedes of people. We went to, I went to go get a taco yesterday, fighting for my life, like to walk through, like everyone's genuinely grocery shopping. And then it's the summer, so there's also like tour groups, like it's whack. This is open, which is very new. Yeah. I don't really know why, but like here it will walk down Oh my, like, like not a soul, but it's my last day here. Sad. <laughs> Sad, after like, I think it's honestly been like 10 days, but it's flown by so quickly. I vlogged a little bit of the boat yesterday and I filled them in about oh, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was tough yesterday. It was everyone. tough. It was yeah. Tough. But we're doing better this morning. Mm -hmm. Well, we were gonna do Shabbat at um, Danielle's sister Kiki's apartment, but like literally, like after the boat, like we just- We couldn't. No, so we just stayed home, made a pasta. It was so nice. Made a damn good pasta. Now we're just walking to get some coffee and we're gonna meet Alex's friend Gal who is somewhere right there. Oh shit, okay. It's the accessories of it all. And Alex, you've always been this way. Like, when we were all wearing like body suits and like a choker, you came in with just like the jewels, the pet, you know? Yes. Oh, okay. The earring situation. <laughs> Stop moving! So she got these from Morocco here. And then where are these two little friends from, if you remember? These I got in Paris from a really beautiful jewelry store. Um, I don't remember the name, but it's in the Marais. Yeah. And it's gorgeous. Also, these are from, actually, no, this one is from a, a jeweler in South Africa. And this I got pierced here, and I just have to change <laughs> And then these guys, one of these is your dad's. Both of the gold ones are my dad's. And then this I got from Iran. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 